Scientists from the European Space Agency are putting the final touches to a pioneering mission to Jupiter's icy moons in the hope of finding signs of primitive life. Here's our science editor, Rebecca Morell. Bleak yet beautiful, the giant moons of Jupiter, covered in a thick crust of ice, but hidden beneath hints of vast oceans where life could thrive. Now a mission is getting ready to make an epic journey to study them. At Airbus in Toulouse in France, engineers are putting the finishing touches to the spacecraft. It's called the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE. This is a number of the scientific instruments that we have on JUICE. They range from a radar that will see beneath the ice to lasers creating 3D models of the surface and high-resolution cameras. These oceans could sustain the necessary conditions necessary to support the uh, emergence of uh, primitive forms of life in these oceans. And this is this environment that we want to further investigate. JUICE will travel more than 4 billion miles before it arrives at its destination in eight years' time. The spacecraft will visit three of Jupiter's moons. It will fly around Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Its ocean could contain more water than all of Earth's oceans put together. It will also study Callisto, whose ancient surface is covered in craters. This moon could harbour life, but that's not as likely as on Europa, where the spacecraft will be trying to spot plumes of water vapour erupting from beneath its icy crust. I don't think we're expecting to go there and find schools of fish in the ocean. Um, but to be honest with you, we really don't know. And I think that's it. We're at the very beginning of our understanding and our journey in, in towards understanding the habitability of this environment. The next step now is to pack the spacecraft up, ready for its launch in April. Scientists hope we'll finally discover what lies beneath the surface of these mysterious moons and whether it's possible for life to exist elsewhere in our solar system. Rebecca Morell, BBC News, Toulouse.